Hello everyone, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Welcome to my tutorial for Dragon from Shrek. This tutorial is dedicated to Fiona Payne. Haha, <laughs> and her name happens to be Fiona, which happened to work out in that respect. <laughs> uh, so Fiona, I hope that you are glad and that you make Dragon. I don't even think she has a name. Dragon, I think her name is. Hope you make her and show me pictures and um, yeah, so check out the links in the description for my Facebook and Instagram pages. You can share pictures with me of what you've made. Um, as far as how many looms and bands you'll need for this project, check the description. Alright, we're going to start with the head and we are doing the head in two parts, okay? Um, for now we need five columns. Okay, I have my base extensions that I got from Rainbow Loom, um, but you do not need them, though they do help to keep the loom from bending inward, but you can use the regular base plates that come with the Rainbow Loom as well. Okay, so let's begin here. We're going to start with her ears. So I'm going to grab my fuchsia bands, and I'm going to just take this second row here the second column and just move it down okay just like that okay taking two bands at a time Okay, now I'm taking two of my burgundy bands at a time. Okay, I'm taking my fuchsia bands and I'm double looping them. So double looping single fuchsia bands. Okay, here I'm taking two. Instead of double looping, I'm taking two here. Okay. Now I'm going to take a fuchsia band onto my hook and wrap it around creating five loops on my hook with it. Then I'm taking two of my fuchsia bands, pulling them on, pulling that band onto them, reclaiming the ends, and wrapping that right around that bottom peg there. And I'm going to take burgundy, I'm going to wrap that one, creating five loops on my hook. Then I'm going to double loop a burgundy, put that on the hook, and pull the cap band over. Reclaim the end and wrap around right here. And I'm going to do that again. Double looped band. That goes there. Okay, so now we are going to loop this. So first I'm going to dig down here past that piece we put on, grab the two burgundies, loop them over, then dig down here and grab the top burgundies from down there, which are these two, loop those. You should understand basic looming if you're doing this project. This is not an easy project. It takes a long time to make. In fact, this took so many attempts while designing that I was tempted to give up on it because it was so hard. So, look, luckily I didn't give up on it. <laughs> okay, dig down here, loop up, loop up here, and here, and here, 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 and here. Now I'm going to take two bands of any color. I'm just going to use black, it doesn't really matter. 
and I'm going to tie slip knots on that end and on this end. And then I can gently pull this ear off. Okay, I'm going to straighten it out so the points are sticking through the right part. Okay. Alrighty, so that is one ear. Okay, so let's work on the other one. The other one we are going to make so it is bending the opposite direction. Okay, so those are my fuchsia bands. Now I'm going to go back to the burgundy. Okay, back to the fuchsia, double looping here, double loop here, double loop here, and take two, like that. Alright, we have to make our points again, so take a fuchsia, wrap it creating five loops around your hook, then take two fuchsia. Pull that on, reclaim the end, and wrap that around this peg here. Right now we're doing it with a burgundy. One, two, three, four, five. Double loop burgundy. Pull it on, reclaim the loops, and wrap around the peg. Another burgundy. Double loop, put on and pull up, claim the loops, wrap around. Okay, dig down here and grab the two burgundies, loop them over. Okay, again, grab two bands of any color. I'm using black. Tie your slip knots. And we can pull this ear off. Okay, so we have our two ears. Okay, now we are going to be doing the top of the head. Okay, so I'm using the burgundy here. Now I'm going to switch this back to the offset like this. Okay, taking two burgundies at a time. Okay, two here, two here, two here, two here, and two here. Okay. Okay. Take two here and two here and whoops. Two here, two here. Now I'm going to take two of the fuchsias here. 
and here. All right, now I'm going to make my eyes. So I'm going to grab one of the, I think it's the neon green, okay. I'm going to wrap it, creating four loops on the hook. Take a lime green and do the same thing. Okay, take a black. And with the black, we are going to wrap it around twice. And use your finger to hold the other end back there whilst we take two of the loops of the green and bring them around onto the other side of the black. Okay, like that. This is going to be twisted back there. It's supposed to be. Okay, and then bring two of the lime green or the neon green onto the other side like that. Okay, now you should have an extra hook. So you're going to take that extra hook and we're going to take a black band and make sure it's not too stretched out or whatever. We're going to wrap it three times around the hook, so creating three loops with it around the hook. Then taking a fuchsia, double looping it, putting it onto the hook and pulling that black band onto it. Okay. Now we have to transfer this onto here. So I'm going to take my hook with the eye and I'm going to stick it all the way through like that and then undo that hook. Okay, then I have my fingers around these ends. I'm going to twist them, make a figure eight with the fuchsia band, and bring it onto the hook, okay? So that is going to be her eyelid. Okay, with her eyelashes on it. Okay, and this black band is still like loosely back there, okay? So now you're going to take two of the fuchsia, ba uh, fuchsia bands, yeah, okay, put them on your hook and we are going to pull all these bands onto those two fuchsia bands in order. So grab the bands in order and just transfer them onto those two fuchsia bands, okay. We're going to put the loops around this peg and this peg. All right, so that is going to be one eye. Let's make the other one. So again, we're repeating the same exact thing. Lime green wrapped around four times, or neon green, and then the lime green. Three, four, then the black. Oops. Wrapped around twice. Bring the lime green, two of the loops of the lime green over on the other side of the black. Then bring two loops of the neon green over to the other side. Okay, grab your other hook and we're going to do the eyelash and the eyelid. So grab a black band, wrapping it around, creating three loops. Ooh, break a fuchsia band. <laughs> Double loop the fuchsia band, pull that on. And we are going to transfer this onto this hook again. Just bring that on and then take it off. And then again we are twisting, laying it on like that. Okay, there's the other eye. Now I'm taking two of the fuchsia bands, transferring the eye onto them again by pulling the bands over in order. Okay, there we go. Then you're going to take a fuchsia, wrap it around this peg, creating four loops. Okay, capping that off. Now we're going to make the eyebrow. So we're taking fuchsia, wrapping it around the hook, creating four loops with it. We're going to do that five more times.
Okay, now we're taking two fuchsia bands and pulling all of these bands onto those two fuchsia bands. Okay. Now, before we do anything, I'm just going to leave my fingers there and just take two of the burgundy bands. We're going to put the two burgundy bands like that. No, not like that. We're going to put them like this. Okay? As horizontal bands. Okay, now I'm going to take the two loops of the fuchsia bands on this side wrapped around that peg and on the other side wrapped around this peg. And I'm going to, this is a little tricky, this part. We have to kind of pull it forward and divide it in half. So there's three of the eyebrow bands on each side. Grab two of the bands in the center and wrap them over this peg. Okay, not this peg, this one, the one above the cat band one, okay? So it's wrapped around these three with three of the looped bands on each side. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take the ears and we're going to hold them like this. So they're bending outward like that, okay, and the pink is facing you. Okay, while you're holding them like that, you're going to put your hook through the pink loops like that. Not the brown loops, the pink loops. Make sure you went through the loops and not between the loops. Take two of the burgundy bands onto the hook and pull both ears onto those two burgundy bands. We're going to place the burgundy bands here and here, spread the ears apart, and bring two of the four bands down over this peg like that. Okay, simple enough, right? Okay. Now I'm going to begin to loop this. Okay, so I'm going to go under the cap band, grabbing the top two bands which are these two eye bands. I'm going to pull the eye forward and loop the bands behind the eye like that. Okay. Same thing here. Okay, I'm going to do the last two, which belong to the center there. Loop up here. And then here. Now, right here we're going to attach a spike and we're going to make it right now. We're going to make it using burgundy bands. So I'm going to take a burgundy, wrap it around my hook creating five loops. Then I'm going to double loop a burgundy. Pull that on, reclaim, and then I'm taking three burgundies. Pulling that on, reclaiming, and I'm going to wrap those loops right around this peg that I loomed up to. Okay, then I want to dig down, loop up the next two, and the final two. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to go to the side and loop up these and these. Same thing on this side, so loop up these. Actually, hold on, don't don't loop that up yet. I just Undo this loop here, and undo this next one. Okay, I just forgot something. All right, so what we want to do is we can take another hook or your fingers, and you want to lift up the top two loops of the eyebrow band here. Then loop up these, and then replace those bands on, and then finish looping up to there. Okay, same thing here. So I'm going to take a hook and lift up the eyebrow bands, then loop up, then replace the eyebrow bands, then loop up once more. Okay, now I'm going to take this ear, hold it like this, and go through the burgundy loops and attach them onto this peg like that then loop up the final set. Same thing here, so turn this ear this way, go through the loops, attach them around this peg, and loop up 
Okay, take three bands of any color. I'm going to use a different color now. I'm going to do pink. Okay, because I used black before. Now I'm going to do pink. Tying off these three loose ends back here. It's going to look weird. It's supposed to. Okay, so you have the forehead, okay, looks like that. All right, we can take off the tying bands around the ears. There's two of them on each. If you attached correctly, the ears won't come off. If you attached wrong, that means you went between the loops when you attached instead of through them. Okay, so if they keep falling off, that's what you're doing wrong. Okay, I'm going to pop up the eyebrows a little bit. Okay, so it looks kind of like this, all right? Cool. Now I'm going to be doing the top of the jaw. Okay, so I am taking my burgundy bands, mostly, two at a time. Going down six times in the middle. Three, four, five, six. And now I'm going to take three at a time. So it's three here. Three there. Three here. Three here. Okay, then I'm going to take two pinks. Two pinks here. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, back to the two burgundies at a time. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tooth right now. So I'm going to take a white. I'm going to wrap it five times around my hook. I'm going to double loop a burgundy. Pull the white onto the burgundy. Reclaim the burgundy loop. And I'm going to actually put that tooth onto these two bands. So I pulled it on and just put the loops back. And I'm going to do that on the other side too. Okay, now I'm going to take two burgundies at a time, two here, two here, and two here, two here. And I'm going to do the pink. Okay, so two pink, two pink. Two pink, two pink, pink like this, and like this. 
Okay, I'm going to make another tooth by doing a white band, wrapping it around five times, then taking a pink, double looping the pink, and pulling the white onto the pink, reclaiming the loops, taking two pinks, pulling the tooth onto the two pinks, putting that right here. All right, I'm going to do that again for the other side. Make your tooth, pull it onto two pink bands, wrap it around. Again, Okay, now I'm going to take a double looped red band. Okay, another double looped red here. I'm going to cap off by wrapping a red band around, creating four loops. Okay, now I'm going to put on my horizontals. So I'm taking two burgundies here. Two burgundies here and here. Now I'm going to take two pinks here and here. And then I'm going to take two pinks and stretch them all the way across these two. Okay. Again, taking two pink at a time. Okay, I'm going to make my nostrils. I'm going to take black, wrap it around my hook, creating four loops with it. Grab another black, wrap it around my hook, creating four loops. Take a pink, or two pinks actually. I just check my uh hold on one sec. No, okay. Take two pinks and pull the nostrils on. Wrap around these two pegs, spread the nostrils apart. Grab two of the four bands between them and wrap them like that. Okay, now we want to make a spike. So I'm going to take a white band, wrapping it around my hook, creating five loops. Double loop of white. Pull it on, be clean. Double loop another white. 
pull on, reclaim, double loop another, pull on, reclaim, and one more, double loop white, pull on, reclaim. So there's four double looped whites on there, plus the capping band. Then I'm taking a burgundy, double looping the burgundy, and pulling that onto the burgundy. Reclaim. This I'm going to attach onto this peg here. Okay, then you're going to make another one, and that one you're going to attach on this side, like that, okay? Alright, now we can begin to loop the bands. Okay. So I'm going under the cap band, grabbing the top double looped red, looping that over, grabbing the next one, looping that, and now I'm going to loop up the center, up to here, okay, and now I'm going to go up the side here. Oops. Make sure you're not grabbing the horizontal bands, though. Okay, so now I'm going to take my head, okay, and I'm going to, f or my forehead, sorry, flip it upside down so the spike's facing down, okay. I'm going to go through the first set of the burgundy bands here. Okay, I'm not going through the cat band, I'm going through the burgundy bands, okay? Turn the head upside down, you're through the loops, wrap them around this peg that we looped up to. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay, then you want to loop up. here, okay? Now you want to lift the head, okay? And now, we are going to loop, we want to dig down here, loop up this, these burgundies and these burgundies up to there. Same thing on this side, so dig down to here, loop up these burgundies and these burgundies, okay? Now, You want to go through, you have your eye with the eyelid and the, and the eyelashes on this set of magenta, uh, fuchsia bands. We want to go through the loops of the fuchsia bands and open them up. Okay, like that. Then loop up once you've attached. Okay, same thing on this side. So I'm going through the fuchsia bands that the eye is on. Okay, I'm going through the loops there, wrapping them around this peg and looping up. Going through the next set of loops, wrapping them, looping up. Same thing here, wrapping around the next set of loops, looping up. Okay, going through the next set of loops, wrapping around. Looping up.
Okay, so I'm looped up to here, here, and here. Okay. You have this tied off end to go through the loops of the tied off end. Through the loops, not between them, wrap around and loop up the final two bands. Now the middle set. Wrap around here and loop up. And this set on the side. Wrap around, loop up. Okay, now I'm going to take three bands of any color. I'm going to use a different color than what's here. I have paint, I used pink there. Now I'm going to use, I'm actually just going to use um, green here. I'm going to use a different color. Just It makes it a little easier if you use a different color. Okay, now I'm very carefully going to take her off. Some things are probably going to be popping out of the wrong side. We can fix that once we've pulled her off. Or taken her off. Okay, so once you've taken her off, we can pop up the eyes here onto the right side. And the mouth might be bending upward. We can adjust the teeth. might be all twisted up down there. They probably will be twisted up. Just push up from the bottom. Push up the nostrils. And the teeth we can kind of adjust. Pulling them downward. Yay, so there is part one done of Dragon. Okay. Alright. Um, Alright, so go to part two and we will finish up her head. Okay. Yay. See you over there, everybody.